Thank you very yeah, much. Thank you. It was a pleasure to be here. Thank you. That was Alan McHale, who is leader of the Northeast Winds. We spoke with Alan uh, earlier uh, today, backstage here at the Maine Center for the Arts. You are watching and listening to a live broadcast from the Hutchins Concert Hall in the Maine Center for the Arts in Orono. I'm Les Myers, your host this evening. We were able to talk with Tom Clancy, also of the Clancy Brothers. Tom, interesting fellow. He has a nimble intellect and a varied range of interests, some of which include the study of history and civilization of man, philosophy, the universe, outer space, poetry, literature, and drama, politics to exercise his body, for example, he likes to swim and ride his bike. Well, we talked with him about some of those subjects, one of which included acting. Here's that conversation with Tom Clancy. Tom, you're an actor, I understand. Of oh, I love the way you pronounce actor. <laughs> yes, that's good. <laughs> Do you have a favorite role or, or a, a character that you like to play? No, not any particular one. Each, each new play that you get, you, 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 you kind of savor it and get to love it. Uh, the last role that I really loved was uh, uh, in Moon for the Misbegotten. And uh, the old father, who's a crankety old kind of a guy, who... Uh, and just about hates everybody, including the the uh, one of his favorite lines is to hell with uh, not shell oil, was it mobile oil? Because they own his property. <laughs> uh, but I enjoyed playing that. I played that for about ten months on Broadway with Colin Dewhurst and Jason Roberts and myself. Then we took it out to Los Angeles. When you're uh, when you're in a role like that, um, how do you separate or divorce Tom Clancy from the role you're playing? Do you do it? Can oh, you do yes. it? Yes. Yeah, well, all, all my life I've played different parts. I suppose we hide behind different parts, or behind different philosophies sometimes. But uh, I suppose the, the, each new part, each part that you play in a play, you have to find yourself within the character that you're playing, whether it be in a Chekhov play. I, I remember playing in um, Lopakhin in the Cherry Orchard. Well, of course, I had to find a parallel for my own, from my own uh, culture, my own background, to fit in with Lopakhin. Lopakhin, in, in, in my culture, in Ireland, uh, we would call him the Gombean Man, which is uh, a term of a fellow who will try to make money or make the best of anything he possibly can at the expense of anyone. And uh, on, uh, in, on the surface, he is he's quite a presentable type of fellow. Um, a lot of bull in front and, in front and not a, a lot of nice qualities, but at the same time, you have to watch every move that you make with him because you you won't know when he's taking advantage of you. And that was Lopakhin. I found his character in, in some people that I knew from, from home, you know. When you were at home, when you were growing up in school, when you were a youngster, did you, did you, uh, were you kind of a goof off? Did you, did you entertain your classmates? Uh, no, doing... no, not, not at all. Strangely enough, I suppose that uh, some actors or some people who go into the uh, the acting business or the entertainment business have a tendency to be, you know, forward show off comics and so on. That wasn't me. I was a, a studier. I learned poetry and I learned plays and I and I like to learn things and it, it, my the impressions that would go in. Uh, they were the ones that I used later on. I'd like to know about life around the Clancy household when you and your brothers were young, when you're growing up, say, pre-teens. Mm, quite, a, quite a few of us. There was nine of us. There was four boys and five girls. My father and mother, that's 11 in one house. And it was in the 30s and 40s that we grew up. And uh, times weren't that good in the 30s and 40s. And, uh, but... Uh, our father was a very entertaining kind of a, a man, and I think we got an awful lot from him. He was uh, a man uh, who was very well read and loved quoting poetry. 
and uh, loved opera. And uh, come down in the morning and he was strapping his razor and singing <laughs> El Trovatore. <laughs> uh, so there was music in the house. Oh, yes, very much so. And then my mother and my father both sang. They sing duets. And my mother had been to America and uh, my father was supposed to come out to America to marry her in 1911 or 12 and decided not to because uh, the Titanic had sunk and I think that he, he was, I, I contemplated going on that one. Too. But uh, uh, he went back to Ireland, they married and had uh, all of us. And uh, we had a great family life, just great. Uh, operas and light operas and singing and um, all of us were interested in, in plays and drama especially in, in movies, because we had a, a, a one movie house and we saw every picture that came to town. Have you done any uh, motion pictures? Yes, I, I did uh, two feature films. The one called The Killer Elite. Sam Peckinpah directed that. And the other one I did was called The Swashbuckler. We had and James Earl Jones and, uh, and um, Robert Shaw and jean Vier Fougeot and and uh, that was a great fun, <laughs> a pirate. And then I've done a lot of uh, television, uh, television uh, specials. Like one was Law and Order, it was called, and then there was another one. We did a remake of uh, of the Last Hurrah. And then I did several uh, Little House on the Prairie things, and all of those, Charlie's Angels, all of the, <laughs> the fun things to do. Do you um, see yourself in this dual career of uh, music making and acting continuing now for the next few years? Well, uh, I'm not going to give it up yet. Yeah. <laughs> As a matter of fact, uh, we're booking shows now for 1990, so that sounded an awful long time, a far away date, you know, when we started out, because we've been going since 1958. 1990 will be here in a wink of an yes, eye. Yes, of course. Tom, thank you very yes. much. My pleasure. Thank you very thank much. Thank you, sir. That was a conversation with Tom Clancy.